So hey, of course you can see she got Spike the Misfit. These are just some thumbnails that you guys should go click on the video and watch. But for some reason the intro magically disappeared, so I just want to drop by and say hey. Okay, so I just got me a fresh white washcloth, and I'm going to just pour some witch hazel on, and I'm going to clean my face off before I start using my other products. Okay, so of course you know my skin isn't you know super duper clean so I have no issues with showing you guys my rags. So of course my rags have like a couple little dirt specks on it. I'm happy I took you know my witch hazel and cleaned my skin off because the cleaner products really wouldn't have been any help once I would have put the other products on top. So I'm going to use this new cleaner product that I just started using. And it's the Lemon Zest Scrub. I don't know why. I had a feeling it was going to smell really good. When I was younger, I tried to get into cleaning products. Let me get my camera focused. When I was young, I really tried to get into cleaning products. And one thing my mom had got me was from Clean and Clear. So, I'm cool with Clean and Clear. So far, it ain't let me down. I really didn't have nothing to clean back then because... Like I told you, I really got my first pump at the age of 20. I hit puberty like semi-late, but whatever. <clears throat> so it says your face needs to be damp. So I'm going to just use the other side of this washcloth. And I'm going to just damp my face a little bit. How was you guys day today? Today is actually my off day. That's so why I'm, you know, in the full bonnet mode because I'm off. I'm on. Straight like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the lemon zest scrub. This is always why it's also best to wash your hands before you put on any type of cleaning products on your face. Like anything on your face really because it won't help your issue if you're sitting here using cleaning products and you rub it in the dirt from your hands. So, I like to start with my cheeks and bring it down to my chest. I really wish you guys could smell this. Like this smells so, so good. I know they also have the watermelon, but I also heard lemons are used to brighten up your skin. I'm not really trying to brighten up my skin. I just really wanted to have a nice shine to it and stay clear, because I'm cool with being my black shade. I just know I got some dark spots from the summertime, being all out in the sun, you know, going to festivals and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get my face all together for when my birthday is here. Y'all y'all understand, this 23rd, these vlogs, these videos for my 23rd, I got so much coming up for y'all. I got endless in the works. So, it actually doesn't give you a time where you have to like sit with the product on, but I'm gonna sit with the product on for about three to five minutes, probably just four minutes. I don't know why I was trying to be fancy and just say three to five minutes. But I'm gonna sit with this product on for four minutes and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. Okay, you guys, so it's been four minutes. Nothing really changed with the product. It's somewhat like my skin somewhat soaks it up a little bit, which is really good because I really want like this product to work. I really need some clean and clear skin for my birthday. And I've been trying to do a lot of different makeup tutorials, trying to get different looks. So I know I just want no dirty makeup layers on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, so. Right now, somewhat dry my face off. I'm trying to damp it because the next product I'm using, your face also has to be damp. So I'm just trying to get the extra absorber out of the cracks. Okay, 
so the next product I'm going to use is the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing. I know I've also seen other YouTubers who like go to the store and buy stuff. So this product was super good. I've been using this way before I actually started using this. And it's been working really, really good for me. And I, that's another reason why I wanted to show you guys this video. All this stuff. All the love. All this stuff is drugstore products. This I bought up while I was at my job. Of course, if you guys don't know, I work at Walmart. But this is also available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, like wherever they really sell face cleaner products. There's a good chance this is there. I also know at Walmart they have a traveling size. And I just decided, you know, go for the one and get the big size. But it's been really good. I thought it was going to come out black, but it does not. It comes out green because it's a green tea scrub. I know they have two other flavors, but I think I'm going to get the other flavor that matches my lotion. I also have St. Ives lotion and what is this? Oatmeal and Shea Butter. They have an oatmeal and shea butter scrub and they also think have, what is it, like mango or citrus fruit scrub. But I really want to try the green tea. I know it's like super healthy and all that other stuff, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this. When it comes out, looks like this. I know it's super super eerie. But it does have like this very refreshing feeling and also you can feel it as you rub it starts to scoop up. Mm. Let's go ahead and start rubbing this in. Like I said, I like to start on my cheeks, but I on my chin and then go up from there. It smells supernatural. Nobody ever wants to put any products on their face and the smell of the products does not really give a comforting feel. Cause you know, if it's going on your face, you don't want it to just smell bad. I think that's like another reason why a lot of people don't use alcohol because it smells super strong. So you guys, also as you said, using a little bit of these products can go a long way. Especially because your face is damp, so whatever leftover water you have on your skin helps stretch out the product. But it does go a long way. I can do one scrub, but I just prefer to do two to make sure that all my skin gets covered. But it lasts long. You see how I got the traveling size of the lemon? That was for me to try it out, and so far it's good. So I'm gonna go back and get the bigger version. Also, want to show you guys this mask I tried. Mm -hmm. No. No, I can't use it. Give me one second. And of course, on the subject of St. Ives, I want to show you guys also the body wash that I use is St. Ives. I really think St. Ives is really good, especially if you have sensitive skin, because I know it doesn't really have any harsh products or perfume products i still would try to stay away from that stuff don't get me wrong i am very hard-headed and i love stuff that smells super good and it's a chance it might be bad for my skin but me i'm gonna take a chance especially if it smells so so good that's that's like one thing people always forget and like skincare doesn't mean it smells super good does not mean it's gonna be really good for your skin so Watch out for lotions and stuff like that because, folks, just like I said, does not mean it smells good. Does not mean it's good for your skin. And your skin is like you on yourself. As you guys see in the midst of my chit chat, I'm letting this, you know, absorb my skin, absorb all the products and whatever. So, like I said, I'm gonna also give it four minutes because this does not have a time limit either. So, I'm gonna give it four minutes and I'm gonna come back. So, I am completely. I am completely drying off my face, wiping off any excess product I do have left all that face. I'm going to completely dry it because once I'm done and I let it air dry just for a second, I'm going to go ahead and add some moisturizer onto my skin.
Okay, so my skin is completely dry now. And um, I would take my bonnet off, but I just have that too. So for this, I'm gonna use the St. Ives Soothing Lotion. This is actually really good for moisturizing. You can use some fancy duper duper ass product, or you can just use some motherfucking lotion. I'm gonna go with the lotion. Okay, it's not hard. Some lotions are really, really good. Uh, syphilis, I think that's what it's called. Or is that like a old people's disease? Hmm. But I know it starts with a C. I use, I see, not I use, I see like some makeup artists who actually use that before they put on their makeup like as a primer or moisturizer. Like, folks don't know that, um, but I see some people use it as a face moisturizer or primer. Some people don't know that like sometimes lotion is actually the best thing for you to keep your skin healthy and not looking all cracked up and dry. So just put a little bit on my hand and just rub that in. Put it all on my face. Now it's really up to me how I'm feeling at that time, but usually sometimes I use Vaseline and I do like the cocoa butter version. But I'm like, I do that one semi-rarely because it's more of a thick substance and I feel like it doesn't do nothing but coat and clog. So, this is actually it for my skincare routine. I will not let y'all have like semi, I used to get extra dry right here, but not anymore. Like, I really have actually like good skin. Everybody loves my signature beauty marks, if that's what you want to call them. I got them from my great grandmother, if you guys are curious. Rest her soul. She was so amazing. But, mm, as you guys can see, I actually don't have bad skin. I'm not sure where this is coming from, but yeah, my skin is actually really good. You can take my advice and you can run with it and, you know, be skincare amazed and clean and clear. Or you can, you know, keep doing you. It's all up to you, honey. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to help everybody, you know, if anybody doesn't have a skincare routine, you know, maybe give you guys some ideas or what some products to use, especially if you have like sensitive skin, eczema, like I do have those type of skin and I also have dry skin too. So I wanted to help people out, you know, just like me who might have some difficulties finding, you know, skincare products. But comment down below because maybe you guys can help me if you guys have skin like me. Maybe comment down below some skincare products that you guys use. I might want to try some of those. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And on that note, I am Spike the Misfit and I will check you guys out in my next video.